Hello, welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to successfully calculate time in Excel. Almost every Excel user that I speak with or that I train has experienced one or more frustrations when attempting to perform time calculations in Excel. Let's work through three common frustrations. Here we have frustration number one. We've taken a simple formula, which is ending time minus starting time, to produce a total of hours in between. The frustration, why doesn't this formula return the correct result? Well, it does return the correct result. The problem is in the formatting. We need to change to a custom formatting, H colon MM. The H stands for hours and the MM for the minutes. So now when we come back over here to cell D4 and say format the cells, we want to come to the number tab. In the custom category, we need to create a variation so that we are only showing H colon mm we got rid of the am and the pm and now we have a result that we can understand and we copy it down and there we solve that frustration frustration number 2 we've taken that same simple formula end time minus start time to produce the total of number of hours in between well look what happens down here in cell d7 we have a cell that's filled with hash marks and no matter how wide we attempt to make that column, we still have only hash marks. Let's take a look. Our ending time, 1 a.m., Excel thinks is earlier than our start time. It's a time that spans midnight. So it's created a negative time number, which produces a cell filled of hash marks. Here's how we overcome this frustration. We need to change that simple formula to a formula that will use the if function. We're saying for our logical value, we're saying here's the test. If our ending time is less than the starting time, the value of true will be our ending time plus one. In other words, we add a day to our ending time. The value of false is leave it alone as your ending time and now subtract the start time. Once again, we have to remember to format the cell so that we reflect the way that we want to see the result. So we'll come up here and make sure that we are not using the AM and the PM afterwards. And another tip that you can use if you don't want to use the IF function, here is a great function that will work. Use the modulus function, the mod function. In the case of the mod function, we're taking a number, in this case, the result of the end time minus the start time, and the divisor, in this case, will be 1. So mod returns the result after we take a number divided by the divisor. It works. It's a simple little formula. Remember, of course, to change the formatting so that we only have h colon mm. And now for our final frustration in this lesson here we've used our if function we have created the correct results in each of the rows but when we go to total the total number of hours worked in the week we have zero as a result what happened and how do we solve it the way to solve this is we change to a different type of format. We enclose the H, the hours, inside a left and a right bracket. So whenever we have a result that exceeds 24 hours, apply this format. Bracket H bracket colon mm and there is our result so now you've learned how to overcome four common frustrations when we total hours hours that exceed 24 we need to apply the bracket h bracket mm format for many of our other frustrations it's a simple matter of making sure that we have the h colon mm uh, formatting. Experiment with the modulus function. Also use the if function. And there you have our lessons and I'll see you in the next Tips and Time Savers.